All right, let's do this. Yo, 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 what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is Monday, the beginning of the week, so you already know what time it is. Another episode of This Week in Hype for the homies. This week, we have a lot to discuss, man. There's a lot happening in the sneaker world, a lot happening in the world in general, as you guys may know. But specifically in the sneaker world, we have a lot to discuss. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys take away some valuable information, of course. And like always, I hope you guys stay to the end because I definitely do not want you guys to miss out on anything. But before I get into the video, I do want to mention a couple things. I have to do my due diligence as a minority in this country. Yo, there's a lot of really scary things happening right now. These times are just ridiculously odd, man. All I can say is, please just take care of yourself if you guys are taking part in that protesting. I'm not gonna say not to. Of course, I'm enraged just as much as you guys are. I wanna see change in this country just as much as all of you guys. But please stay safe out there. There's a lot of really scary things happening. Take care of your loved ones, take care of yourself, take care of your friends. Everybody who's participating in it with you, please just look out for them because honestly, I would hate for anything to happen to any single one of you guys. But also, in terms of the looting, for anybody watching this video who is taking part in the looting, I would strongly advise against that. I would definitely recommend and not uh, you know taking part in that honestly I'm just as enraged as a lot of you guys are and I want to see change just as much as you guys but looting some of these businesses just don't deserve that treatment and to be honest at the end of the day the looting is really going to affect more so the people who are working for those businesses more so than the actual business especially for these large corporations and these large conglomerates like Apple for example Apple is not gonna sweat that Apple will close doors for two weeks and in another two weeks they'll just reopen the store um, but in regards to the people who are actually working and missing work you know those people at the end of the day still need a paycheck and they still need to feed their family so again my recommendation is to not participate in the looting I know that you guys are enraged again so am I but again I would just say that that's not really the answer in times like this but switching over to another topic I do want to mention my cook group ugly gang 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 I definitely have to give a huge shout out to the squad yo this past weekend this Saturday for the Flint 13 drop we completely smoked it we completely obliterated that drop it feels like everybody in my group walked away with like five plus pairs yo I'm telling you guys if you guys want to be on the winning squad you guys need to be in my group we are going to be restocking today June 1st at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time I'm not sure if I'm gonna get this video out in time but if I do if you guys have any time to join up on that group please go ahead and do so I promise you guys will not be disappointed in it I don't know if if I don't you know get this video out in time please just join the discord regardless we are going to be announcing restocks all the time in the group specifically so if you guys want to have chances to join joining the discord is definitely your best chance but enough of that man let's get into the video enough of those plugs welcome to another episode of this week in hype all right let's kick things off with a weekend recap like we usually do this past weekend there was one notable release or maybe two if you want to also consider streetwear as well this past weekend we did see the release of the air jordan 13 flints that sneaker man was that whole drop was crazy man like i said my group smoked that release i'll even give you guys some nice little scroll action of my discord success feed everybody walked away with so many pairs man me personally i walked away with like 25 pairs which is crazy i don't know if people just slept on the release or if people didn't want to attend because they thought it was going to break i knew that that sneaker was going to sell out the demand was there from the beginning i'm a little surprised that the resale market is you know treating it that well i thought that it was going to you know settle around like 250 275 somewhere around there it hovering at over 300 dollars is kind of crazy but um, again, I do hope that if you guys were able to pick up, I hope you guys are holding up the market. If you were interested in this thinking for personal, I do hope that you were successful in picking it up. In my opinion, it's probably one of the better 13 colorways. But again, I do hope that if you guys were interested, you were able to pick up some pairs. Also, this past weekend, we did get a new FTP drop. That drop was so fire, man. So fire, man. This was probably one of the better FTP drops in a long time. And just the way the whole site was functioning, it's a testament to that as well. Let's go ahead and give a huge shout out to Zach and the whole FTP family. That brand has definitely come a long way. 
it's dropping a lot of fire, man. When it comes to those all over print shorts, that archive tee, the baseball bat, man, there was just so much fire in that drop, man. I honestly cannot wait to get those pieces in. I definitely went ahead and copped a lot. You guys are gonna see it on this channel, so definitely stay tuned for that. But um, yeah, just a lot of fire, man. If you guys were interested in any of the stuff, I do hope that you guys were successful as well. But enough of that, man. Let's get into some upcoming releases. Let's get into these drops because boy, do we have a lot to discuss. Woo! Let's start off with this Jound New Balance 992. I'm not sure if it's Jound or if it's JJJ Jound. I'm not really sure. You guys can call it whatever you want. But this is a new New Balance 992. This sneaker kind of reminds me of that Kith New Balance 992. I think it was a 992. Um, these colorways, though, we've gotten them quite a bit now on New Balances. Um, it's a pretty dope sneaker. Is it for everybody? Is it for me specifically? Probably not. I definitely don't think I'm going to go ahead and pick up a pair. Um, I don't know if it's going to resell, to be honest. It might, but depending on the retail, if New Balance decides to throw it at like 250 maybe not as much. I still do think that if you are in need of some New Balances, this is definitely not a bad sneaker to pick up. But um, for most people, I do not think that uh, you know it's a necessity. But it is a pretty dope sneaker nonetheless. Uh, moving on, we have some Nike Dunk Lows to discuss. A lot of Nike Dunk clothes man I really hope that this is not a trend of just more and more colorways because uh, I don't think it's gonna treat the model all that well but um we do have a ACG Terra colorway on a Nike Dunk Low coming out we don't have a release date for it just yet but we can suspect that it's gonna retail for a hundred bucks I don't know how easy it's gonna be to pick it up because as you guys know with Nike Dunk Lows it's just a whole different world out there but um here's to hoping that we are actually successful in copying um obviously if you guys are interested in the sneaker i would definitely say keep your eyes peeled because uh, once news drops on this this is definitely going to be everywhere and resellers are going to be out here everybody and their mom is going to try to pick up the sneaker so uh yeah definitely good luck to you guys when it comes to that but moving on we do have another pair of nike dunk lows i've recently spoke about this in my latest video in my top sneakers of june 2020 video um this is the nike dunk low university red or how i would call it the st john's colorway this sneaker is scheduled to release on the 12th of june retailing 100 bucks I don't even have to say it, this sneaker is a surefire cop. Definitely go ahead and pick it up if you can, if you have the chance to. Do not hesitate because this sneaker is definitely a big W. Um, personally, I would like it for personal, but I don't know how that's gonna go. Obviously, again, like I said before, copying Nike Dunk Lows and copying Nike SBs is just a whole different level nowadays. It's just, you can cop J's, but copying Nike SBs is just like, hitting a unicorn i don't know man these sneakers are just that limited again if you guys are interested in these please do not sleep on them as soon as uh, you know you see raffles or as soon as you guys hear of some first come first serve places do not sleep and try to attend because um yeah this is definitely going to be a hard sneaker to grab again that is on the 12th 100 bucks Moving on, we have some more Nike Dunk Lows. This is an entire pack. These are scheduled to release in 2021, so we do have quite a ways to go. This is also a women's pack of Nike Dunk Lows. There are four colorways, one of them being a university blue colorway. There's also a black and white colorway. There's also a pink colorway, and there's also a light gray colorway. In my opinion, that university blue colorway is pretty dope, but uh, my favorite out of the bunch is probably that light gray colorway. That is definitely a whole vibe. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to pick it up because these are women's pairs. So I'm not sure if it's gonna be released in extended sizes, but here's to hoping. Of course, I'm not gonna be mad because women deserve their love too. And um, I know that a lot of women out there are you know, fans of Nike Dunks as well. So um, hopefully you guys are able to pick them up if you are able to. If they do drop in extended sizes, you know I'm gonna be out here. That light gray colorway, I'm probably going to try pretty hard to pick it up but here's to hoping that they actually do. Again, that is in 2021, stay tuned for that. Um, moving on, another pair of Nike Dunk clothes that we have coming out. This is a re-release of a 2001 model. This is a Samba colorway. This sneaker, in my opinion, I don't think it's that dope. I'm not gonna lie, man, I always keep it a buck with you guys. This sneaker is not bad. Obviously, it's not the worst colorway for a Nike Dunk Low that we've seen, but in my opinion, I think that it could have been a little better. Obviously, this is a retro of a 2001 model, so I don't know you know, who's to say that it could have been better. But um, will I go ahead and pick this sneaker up? For personal, probably not. For resale, I do think that it's uh, you know, a good cop. It's definitely a good pickup. So I'm probably gonna try my best to pick up a pair. But um, I don't know, man. I definitely wanna see them in hand before I give my full out you know, critique on them. 
But um, from the pictures, I just don't think that it's all that of a sneaker. But of course, you guys can stay tuned for that if you do want to. Moving on though, we do have some more LeBron 7 Retros. This is a Christ the King model. This sneaker is another fire LeBron 7. I remember this whole time for Nike basketball, man. A lot of really, really, really dope sneakers, man. It's kind of surprising that Nike is deciding to retro all of these now. It might have been a good idea to wait after he retires to retro the heat. But um, this sneaker is fire, man. For all us LeBron fans out there, this is a must-have. I know that, uh, personally, I'm still looking for the Media Day LeBron 7s. But um, this sneaker, whenever it drops, I'm probably going to try to pick it up as well. And uh, yeah, it probably won't resell for much, but doesn't really matter, man. This sneaker is fire. If you are a LeBron fan, you probably uh, you know don't really care if it's reselling or not. But again, that is sometime in December, 200 bucks. Stay tuned for that. Uh, moving on, we do have a Nike Space Hippie Pack. There are four models releasing on June 11th. There is the 01, which retails at $130. There's also the 02 that retails at $150, the 03 at $180, and the 04 also at $130. In my opinion, this is a pretty dope concept for a pack. Um, personally, I love that 03 model. I like the, you know, the higher cut on it. The other three models, they're not bad. Like I said, the concept is pretty dope, but um, it's kind of like an awkward hybrid between like a runner and a casual sneaker. I don't know exactly what they were going for. For all you guys who are interested in the sneakers, I don't think that they're bad pickups, but uh, me personally, I just have my eyes on that 03. I don't know if I'm gonna go ahead and pick them up, but I definitely have my eyes on it nonetheless. Also, I'm not sure if this has any correlation to the whole Elon Musk sending people into space, but um, if it doesn't, they definitely chose a great time to uh, you know release this pack. I think that that alone is probably going to drive the hype of these, uh, of these models. But um, again, if you guys are interested in these, June 11th, four pairs of sneakers, the Space Hippie Pack. Uh, moving on, let's get into some big trash of the week, my favorite segment. And boy, this week do we have some trash. This sneaker might actually take the cake for the biggest trash of the year thus far. This sneaker is wild, man. I don't even know how to pronounce this, to be honest. This is the Salehi Bamburi Anta. It's a collaboration with Anta. This sneaker, man, is crazy, bro. Look at this shit. Look at this shit right here, man. I don't know what they were going for when they, you know, drew this concept. When they drew this as a mock-up, I don't know what they were going for. This sneaker is just not it, man. This sneaker sort of looks like a Batmobile turned into a sneaker, bro. This is crazy. I don't know what is going on in the footwear world right now, but is it just like create the most ridiculous, the most outlandish model for a sneaker and just throw it out there? Do not cop this. Please let me know if anybody watching this video is a fan of this sneaker because I definitely have a lot of questions for you, bro. A lot of questions, man. I don't know, man. Let me know you guys' thoughts. This sneaker is trash, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely not getting anywhere near that. Unfortunately, I only had this one model for this week's big trash. Um, please do not stop sending me the stuff that you guys see online that you feel is worthy of making the segment. Please just continue to DM me on Instagram. Also, just throw it in the Discord if you are in Discord as well. I definitely like to, uh, you know, see what you guys find on the internet. But that is it for this week. Let's move on to some more upcoming releases, some more heat. We did get some more images of the Nike SB Grateful Dead Bears. We saw a yellow colorway and we saw an orange colorway. Um, I don't even have to see the actual sneaker to know that these are going to be fire. Back when I saw them as a mock-up, I knew that these are going to hit. Um, there is a rumor that there's three colorways instead of two that we just, you know, that we're seeing now. There's also rumors that we're getting four colorways i'm not really sure just yet obviously if you guys uh, you know are interested in them i would say keep your eyes peeled but um personally i hope that there's more you know colorways is just a better chance for us to pick up some pairs or, or a pair because obviously if you guys are uh, you know trying to get sbs nowadays it's just a ridiculous hassle when these get closer to releasing i can only imagine the fuckery that some of these skate shops are gonna pull for these you're probably gonna have to cop everything in the store for one damn raffle ticket but um I guess if you guys are interested in them, please just look forward to these. Good luck to you guys because uh, we'll definitely need it. Every single one of us will definitely need some luck when it comes to those. But moving on, we have some more Nike Dunk Lows. We have like five or six more colorways. We do have one image of these models though. I'll throw that on the screen. In regards to the rest of the colorways, the color codes reads white and black for one of them. Another one is white and team green, whatever green that is. We also have a white and university blue. 
which sounds to be pretty dope. We also have a black and hyper cobalt. Um, then a medium gray and varsity red, which is this one right here. And lastly, we have a varsity maze and midnight navy colorway. Again, some more Nike Dunk lows on the way. I guess you guys can look forward to that as well. Again, that's in late 2021. Uh, moving on, we have some Air Jordan 1s to discuss. Some really, really interesting Air Jordan 1s. One of them is this Air Jordan 1 High Zoom, this Space Hippie colorway. Um, like I said before when I was discussing the Space Hippie pack earlier, the concept is pretty dope. Um, the thing is that when you put it on a Jordan 1, the expectations and the standards sort of rise. Um, this sneaker, to be honest, in my opinion, is not it. I think that they definitely could have done a lot better. Um, if you are interested in the sneaker, I would definitely recommend skipping on it on release date. I definitely think that patience will pay off when it comes to this model specifically. I think that uh, you probably will be able to pick it up on discount or on sale. Um, again, it's not a terrible looking sneaker, but again, on a Jordan 1, it just has a different standard. I don't think that it met on this model specifically, but um, again, if you are interested in it, I guess you guys can look forward to that. Again, this sneaker is set to release on August 20th, retailing $175. Stay tuned for that if you are interested. Um, another pair of Air Jordan ones that we are supposed to be getting, this one is set to release in spring 2021. This is a Hyper Royal colorway. This is another mediocre colorway on a Jordan 1. I personally am not feeling the sneaker at all. I don't like the color blocking. I don't like the gray with the blue. I think that it's just, just not a nice looking sneaker at all. Um, of course, if you guys need more Jordan 1s, you guys can look forward to this. But uh, me personally, I'm definitely going to pass on this when the time comes. Again, you guys can look forward to that in spring 2021. Uh, moving on, we have another pair of Air Jordan 1s. This is a really dope colorway, one that I am excited for. This is a neutral gray colorway. Um, this model is set to release sometime in 2021 as well. So another model that we are you know, just gonna have to wait for. At first glance, I thought that this was like a metallic Jordan 1. It does not look to be the case, which doesn't matter. I'm still gonna go crazy trying to get the sneaker. When the time comes, I can only imagine how hard this is gonna be to get. A lot of people seem to be interested in this and I can already see a lot of resellers being out here as well. So if you are interested in the sneaker, please when the time comes, do not sleep on it because uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a really, really, really tough grab. But again, 2021, look forward to that. Let's transition over to some easy news. Like always, there is no This Week in Hype without discussing some Yeezys. Let's start off with some new Yeezy slides that are set to release. There are two colorways. There's a suit colorway and there's also a core colorway. Um, honestly, man, I'm going to just say this. I cannot wait for these to release. I really want another pair of Yeezy slides. I love my current pair. They're super comfortable and you can wear them pretty much wherever. They're that durable. This black colorway I need in my collection or in my rotation. Um, I don't know how hard it's going to be to get, but judging by resale numbers on the other pairs, this probably won't be that easy to get. So again, do not sleep on these if you are interested in them. If you're interested in them for personal, obviously do not sleep. But also for resale, I do think that people are going to try to resell these as well so um again do not sleep on these when the time comes again 75 dollars two more colorways of yeezy slides um also in the easy world we are getting another pair of yeezy 350 v2s another one like we need it ridiculous man this is a, a best pair this sneaker i don't have to say it man this sneaker can get the fuck out my face you can miss me with all these 350s i'm not getting anywhere near this for retail for resell for personal on discount these shits could just go somewhere i don't really care if you guys need some more 350s or if you need any pair of 350s i guess you guys can look forward to this but me personally i'm staying as far away as possible from those uh, moving on, lastly, in the Yeezy world, we are getting another colorway of the Quantum Basketball sneaker. This is a blue colorway. Um, this sneaker is pretty interesting in my opinion. I think that it's a pretty dope colorway, at least in my opinion it is. Um, I did see some people on Twitter clowning it for whatever reason. I will say this, it's kind of weird judging this sneaker because at its essence, it's a basketball sneaker. So I'm not really sure what we're supposed to be expecting in terms of colorways. At the end of the day, it should be matching, you know, different uniforms and it's supposed to be pretty easy to wear on the court. 
So I'm not really holding my expectations too high when it comes to the Quantum Basketball sneaker. But um, again, I do want to see them in hand. This is all coming from somebody who has yet to hold a pair of them. So again, I personally, I'm looking forward to these. I hope that I can pick up a pair. Um, I'm not sure how easy it's going to be. And also, I can see these reselling as well. So um, here's to hoping that we are actually successful in picking up a pair. But again, look forward to that sometime in uh, you know the coming year or so. Who knows? But lastly, in the world of sneakers, we are supposed to be getting a new Nike Sakai model. This is labeled the Vapor. Waffle. This colorway specifically is the royal and red colorway. Um, this sneaker, in my opinion, contrary to what a lot of people are saying out there, I think that this sneaker is pretty dope. I know it kind of resembles that Balenciaga Triple S at least a little bit. I still think that this sneaker is fire. I really want to see how it looks on feet. Part of me kind of wants to reserve full criticism on the sneaker until I see it on feet. But um, regardless, from the pictures, I think that it's a pretty dope model. And not to mention, it's definitely going to resell because this sneaker is, at the end of the day, still a Sakai model. Um, I know a lot of people out there are clowning this sneaker. And I know that once it drops, everybody and their mom is going to try to pick it up. Um, I can only say get ready and uh, you know stay tuned for more information because this sneaker is definitely not going to be an easy grab either. Again, this is the Vapor Waffle from Nike and Sakai, a new Nike Sakai model. But that is it guys for sneakers. In terms of streetwear, we don't have really any news this week. We are obviously supposed to be getting Supreme Week 15 very soon. Obviously, when the full drop list uh, you know, releases, you guys can expect a full review from me. But until then, we're just going to have to speculate what we're getting. I hope that this week is pretty dope supreme has definitely not been letting us down with fire so hopefully this week can be another one but um yeah i do hope that you guys enjoyed the video that is this week in hype if you guys did please drop a like for your boy comment your thoughts and please subscribe to the channel it'll definitely be appreciated once again if you guys want to cook up with the boy please hit that link down below join the discord i promise 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 you guys will not be disappointed in that also please stay safe out there this world is not to be played with right now man if you don't have to go out don't go out stay your ass home if you are out there please stay safe Again, take care of your friends, take care of your family, take care of your loved ones. Please, that's all we can do. That's all we got. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. Peace.